Hello everyone and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to import your designs that you create in Divi onto Cardflows. Now, for those of you that don't know what Cardflows is, Cardflows is a funnel building software for WordPress. So let me show you what this landing page looks like. So pretty much this is what it looks like. If I scroll down here, it has what you're going to learn. And then further down here, it has a section here which talks about the main course. And then finally, we have our testimonials. Now, I'm also going to add this template to the blog post so that you can go ahead and download it and use it in your designs. And uh, like I say, this works with uh, card flows. Now, before I begin, I also like to remind you that if you buy Divi, Using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my web design formula course, a course that teaches you step-by-step -step how to design professional looking websites with Divi. And also if you buy Cardflows, which is the funnel building software, I will give you access to the sales funnel mastery course, which teaches you how to design your funnels using Cardflows and WooCommerce. All you have to do is to purchase Cardflows or Divi using my affiliate links below. And then once you're done with that, you get head over to a funnels to income.com, click on the chat bubble on the bottom right and send me your receipt numbers. And once you do that, I'll give you access to the courses. All right. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so for this technique, the first thing you want to do is to create your landing page using Divi. So this is the landing page that I created. And by the way, I'll be sharing this landing page. I'm going to be giving it away for free if you purchase either Cardflows or even Divi. All right, so let's just take a quick look at this landing page. So here, if I scroll down, you can see it have our module section here. And it also has a section here which describes the course. And then over here, we finally have the testimonials. Now, the beauty about this template is you can always go in and customize all these things here to whatever that suits you. So this particular landing page is for online course makers. Okay, so now that we've gone through this, the very first thing you need to do is to export this template. So we're going to come over here to enable a visual builder. And then what we're going to do is to come all the way down here to the bottom and click these three little dots. Next, you want to click on these two arrows, the one pointing up and the one pointing down. So this is your portability. But let's give this a name because we have to export it. So let's say this is our course landing. Let's give pro at the end because I think I have another one that I created. Okay, so course landing pro. So we're gonna export this. So now this is uh, getting ready to be exported. So once this is exported, we're going to go into cut flows and begin putting all, everything all together. All right, so now that I've exported it, you can see here on the bottom uh, left of my screen, we have this JSON file. So all we have to do now is to either delete this or we can come over here to our dashboard and then we want to go to cut flows. So over here on Cardflows, I'm going to click on Flows. And by the way, Cardflows is your funnel building software for WordPress. This is fantastic. I use it all the time. And I also have a course that goes with it. So if you buy Cardflows using my affiliate link, you also get access to my uh, Sales Funnel Mastery course. Okay, so let's come over here and create a brand new flow. So I'm going to click here on Add New. So we can use these ones that are already there and then delete them. So let's choose this one here. I'm going to hit import. The other way, of course, is to just create your own and you can just create everything from scratch. But the reason why I do it this way is because it adds all my steps and then it just saves me time to, uh, to create these flows. Okay, so everything is imported now. You can see we have the landing checkout and thank you page. So over here, we can call this course landing or whatever course it is that you have. Let's say email marketing course. In your case, it can be any course. So I want to save this over here by hitting update. Great. So that landing page that we've just created, I want to show you now how to add it on to Cardflow. So this will save you so much time when it comes to setting up your landing pages for your funnels, for your courses, or any other products that you may need to create. So over here now, I'm going to hit on edit. So this is now going to take me to my DV Builder. So I'm going to click here on edit with DV Builder. Okay, so this is going to take me into my builder, which has all the elements that we imported by default. And like I said, we're not going to be using these because we want to have everything start from scratch. So as you can see, this is our default one. So all I do here is to click here and then just delete everything. Okay, so now that everything is deleted, the next step now is to import our layout. So I'm going to click here on these two arrows. 
click on import. Now I need to find my file, which I downloaded. So I'm going to go here and here it is, Course Landing Pro, click on open. So now it's going to add all my uh, elements for this design that I've just created. So I'm going to click on import. And once this uh, import is complete, you're going to see the full page for our funnel. So now that we have, uh, now everything has been imported clear, uh, correctly, this is looking great. And uh, this is pretty much everything. And uh, we can see all the elements that we need are added in this uh, first landing page. So the next step, or in fact, what I normally do here, I know we have this white space. I don't know why that is there by default. So what I normally do is I just go into my settings here, click on design spacing, and I give it a negative margin of 80. So I'm going to give it minus 80. And then that just takes away that white space. Now I'm going to hit save. Save this one more time. Now here's the thing. And this part is very, very important. This button here does not link to anything on our layout. So what we need to do now is to make sure that it links to the next step, which is the checkout page. So here I'm going to click exit visual builder. And I'm just going to do a quick look here at our design and, uh, Yes, everything is looking great. Everything is in place. So the next step now is to click on edit step. So this is where now we need to find our link to our checkout page. And this is the link that we need to add to the button. So I'm going to highlight it, copy it. And then I need to go back to my Divi Builder and add my link to the button because this is the link that's going to take us to the next step, which is the checkout page. So over here, I'm going to click on my settings for my button. And then under link, I'm going to paste my URL, the one that I've just copied. So I've just added it over here and then save. And then I'm going to save this one more time. Okay, so pretty much everything is all done now. And if at any point you want to go in and edit your funnel, you can go in here and use the Divi Builder to edit all this. You can change the contents, you can change the colors and do all that good stuff. Okay, so now that everything is saved, I'm just going to click on exit. And then we're going to go back to our flows by clicking here on edit, back to edit flow. Okay, so now we've just created our landing page. Let's test now and see if we click on that button, if it takes us to the checkout page. And by the way, the checkout page doesn't have a product assigned yet. So this is where you want to come in and assign your page. But anyway, for this step, I just want to go in and see if this is going to take us to our next page, our next step. So now let's say people land on this page. And as you can see, there's no header and footer, which is fantastic. So let's say your visitors land on this page and then they click on buy now. Notice what happens. Now this now takes us to our checkout page. And as I mentioned on our checkout page here, we don't have any products added to it. So what you need to do is to head over here to your checkout page and start editing it, editing it like how you would with Divi. So for example, here I'll click on edit and uh, I can then go in and uh, work on my header, my header area by clicking here on uh, edit with Divi. So now you can go in and customize all this the way you want. And then once it's all customized, you can then save it. And don't forget, you need to add your uh, product here. And once you add your product, it's going to show all your fields for this checkout page. And once you're done with that, you can also design your thank you page, which is uh, over here on our flow. So here's our thank you page. These are the steps. So if someone lands on your page, they go to the check, uh, landing page. If they click buy now, they go to the checkout page. And then after the checkout page, they then go to the thank you page. Now, the beauty about this is you can also add a new step and this step can be an upsell. So your upsells now can also be added to this flow. But of course, I'm not going to do this now. But the most important thing here is you can actually design your landing page, your checkout page and your thank you page all in Divi, export them and then bring them over here to uh, cart flows and then import them that way. Now, you may be asking why, what is the benefit of doing this? Now, to be honest, when you design everything in Divi, you have the full design layout and also how to pretty much put everything in order. 
And uh, this is what makes it easier. Now, I've tried this before where I go in and start designing where, I mean, in the uh, actual cut flows um, templates. And over there, there's just a lot of things in the way. So I'd rather design it away from cut flows and then just bring it in by importing it in. And that way as well, you also have a backup of all your designs uh, of your landing pages in case you may want to use them on other projects. So that is the workflow that I would do if I'm going to be creating all my uh, designs for my funnels. So pretty much this is how you put everything together. Don't forget to go in here and add your product because if you don't add your product here, nothing shows on your checkout page. So that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. Till next time, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.